you, you do a thing that's called paint and sip. Yep. And you used to do them in public. So first of all, tell me about how you used to do those in public. So, um, one, wine is involved. So that makes people want to come. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I won't say I do it differently than others because I've never been to anyone else's but mine, but I would love to go to others. Um, but I kind of reel in art therapy a little bit with mine. Like I have a painting ready to go and people to like to work on, but I always tell them, do this for you. Do not like, you know, do the exact thing that I'm doing. Like, this is for you. Um, this is about you. Like you're here, like do whatever you want to the piece, add whatever you want. That's, that's how I go about it. And they have fun. I usually have food. So great. It's a good time. Wow, that seems like a lot of prep to do. Like, how did you get started or even come up with the idea of doing your own events like that? Um, I, well, someone in, like introduced like the whole paint party thing to me because yeah. I went to one in um, Chicago, which is very, very popular there. Okay. And I'm like, oh, you know, maybe I should um, try it. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I ended up doing my first one. I believe it was in like 2018 and um, it was pretty fun. Um, I think the painting that I did at first was super complicated, but it worked out. How they so? Did a good um, I don't know. I didn't realize that a lot of people don't actually know how to draw flowers. <laughs> 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 I, didn't, I didn't know that was a thing because I just remember as a child, like, drawing flowers was a thing like everyone kind of knew how to do it and then or even like mixed colors like I, I didn't know that people just that just went away like, yeah I, I didn't realize that it was a thing <laughs> 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 I didn't I, oh, but yeah I kind of after like doing that I realized you know like why don't you make a mixing chart like that's a good idea to so do that oh. like you know so yeah, but um, even before like my first couple ones, I kind of do a step-by-step -step drawing to get people in. Um, as of lately, I've kind of been like doing like a ready to paint type of thing because people get like self-conscious like, oh, well, I don't know how to do that. And it's just like, so that's not the point. The point is <laughs> to have fun, but yeah. Yeah. And, and you even, I saw that you are supplying people with kits even on these virtual ones that you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. You, I love how prepared you are when you, with yeah. these things. So what's, what's with the, what are you doing for the kits? So the kits, you're going to, they come with the, the ready to paint canvas. So like people are like ready to go. Uh -huh. And the reason why I do that is I notice like, even while you're on camera, like you can't, you can barely see what like people are drawing or writing like, oh, yeah. if, unless you have a marker. Mm hmm so like I kind of just have that ready and then I give them paints and brushes, um, a mixing guide because remember like people forget yep. how to mix colors. and yeah, um, I've been adding wine if it's like for like, you know, for adults. Um, uh -huh. So yeah, and it just, they come and they sit on their computers or phones and they paint with me and we have a good time. The only thing that's like, missing with the virtual is like the music part i really love music i love playing music but it's like it's hard to play music over a computer so then sometimes it's just like this awkward silence like mm -hmm. everyone's so into their painting it's just like all you hear is everyone's microphone or like <laughs> right <laughs> well and also with the streaming services too sometimes what they do is if it's copyrighted music they will actually cut off the audio which yeah. i've had happen to me before <laughs> Yeah. And that's no I, good. Yeah, but I've been doing them on like Google Meet, so so that's been that's been cool, but other than that, yeah, I can I can see that happening. Right. Oh, that I forgot that you were doing them on Google Meet. That's, yeah. Which is actually a very good service. It's actually really good for that. Like I prefer it to like Zoom and stuff. Plus Zoom there's so many restrictions or you have to download something like Google Meet. Most of us have Gmail anyway. Mm -hmm. So you can just sign on for, with oh, that. Yeah, Google on there. Yeah. And I wanted to ask you about the, uh, the, so what is the mixing, uh, chart mixing chart is, is yeah, like, what does that entail? What, how did you, how did you actually explain it or set it up for people to use? Um, I kind of just like did 
kind of like what you would see if you're in like kindergarten you're learning how to like mix your colors okay kind of did like okay red and blue make purple uh-huh. yeah, like i just give out like the basic colors like you'll get red in the kit white yellow did i say red red I think green so. <laughs> blue and black uh-huh. and i just kind of take from those colors and tell them like what colors make what colors and like what you should use to make a lighter color or what you should use to, you know, make a darker color or, you know, Mm -hmm. I would be like, okay, use white if you want this to be darker or, you know, add a little black if you want this to, I mean, add white if you want this to be lighter and then add black if you want this to be darker. So. And do you have visuals with this or is it all just explained like in, in text? Um, It's, it's a visual. So I kind of just, did like blocks of colors. I went on Illustrator, made a nice little guide, and then I put the color wheel on the back too. So there's a color wheel so they can look at that and see how. Really? Uh, yeah. Wow, you were so prepared. I love this. this yeah. <laughs> like, you like think it through and stuff. That's fantastic. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And, and then you also do the, you said you do the adult ones, but you started, like, have you always done the kids ones or? Um hopefully next month I'll do my first kid one. So. Oh, you haven't done one yet? No, I work with kids already. So I'm like, I might as well entertain them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> On <the> days off, <laughs> which I think would be like a lot fun, more fun actually, just to, cause kids are like so engaged and they're like always ready to learn. And I've worked with a lot of creative kids. So 